Hello and welcome. So I did seem to think that I was recording everything, but it sadly did not catch the audio. However, I can happily go through it all again. But essentially, we have begun with the grey box in, as you would have seen in the previous um, episode. So we've begin placing all new assets. We've set the lights looking all pretty. But I've done some slight readjustments as well. So inside this main room, we do have the three entrance ways now. So all leading to different points of location. Um, it will of course be more in depth when it gets closer to it. However, for the time being, we do not need to worry about that. But for the moment, we have updated some things with the main character. Um, so I'll start off with going out here first just to show you a glimpse, but essentially wanting to get some wall jumping into play. So setting up all of this and have even implemented the double jump feature so far. Um, just to start off, so inside the project settings within the input we have fixed all of this stuff up but we have now created a new thing so if we go into collision we now have wall jump so create the trace channel set to ignore and these walls are now set to a custom collision with wall jump ticked so I also made this test sprint as I was getting the sprint function to rework, which it currently is working perfect now. So there is no need for this at the moment. However, we were using it just to test to make sure the event graph where it's cast into the player works as well as with the casting from the player with the stamina to the return node. So. With the base UI, we had to fix up that little stamina issue. So that is exactly what we did. We did that exact same thing, but inside of this one, and this is rigged to the BP first person character. So that blue bar there is going to be our stamina bar with the yellow bar being health. So of course, all of this will be getting reworked but these things take time, so we are going to slowly rework it. But for the time being, with this red vision thing that is here as well, the red vision will be a sense that you will be able to use, so it will sort of change your perspective on how the game will work as well. We also have this little flashlight icon, so when you do use the flashlight, then of course the little icon is going to pop up. So moving on to the character, I'll just go back to here just to give you a bit of an insight. But essentially with the blueprints, we have renamed the character to BP underscore first person underscore car underscore FOTC for fame of the collector. Now with the BP first person, we have now mounted the torch and set the light for him too. So if I go over here, so we've got the, our stamina and everything working too. We have new functions being the start sprint, stop sprint, um, is sprinting, wall check distance, wall jump, wall, walk speed, sprint speed. So with this one, I, I can remove that one because that one's currently not being used. However, we have is sprinting, stamina, max stamina. So if I go into the viewport, we have now attached the torch. So, which I'll just show you. So currently we have it as invisible so that it is hidden until you open it up. So we've set the torch to about here, just so you get a bit of a visualization, um, but we keep that ticked off. So with the flashlight, we took the original settings from the first flashlight 
uh, from the first build. So we set the intensity, uh, unit list, light color, attenuation radius, inner cone, outer cone. Um, and that is about it for that flashlight. Then we set our sprint function. So we had to create a new drain stamina. Um, as you can see, our sprint speed is 600 with our max walk speed 300. So with the start sprint, we have it to drain the stamina and the stop sprint has to regen the stamina. And then in the event graph, now that we are here, I can show you. So we set up a double jump function, which is already set in stone. So we don't need to stress about that. So with the double jump function, all we had to do was go into character movement. And if I look up jump, it has max jump apex attempts two. So the maximum amount of times they can jump. So it makes more sense if I scroll down just to find the jump. So we've got the jump velocity, braking, deceleration, air control, all of that is set. And that's pretty much it with that. But what we had to do, we had to go, so if I go walk speed, we had to adjust the max walk speed here to 300 as that's our maximum walking speed. So sprint function is start sprint, stop sprint. That works, is all set up now. Um, with our regen and our drain stamina now working with the new is sprinting function. So our flashlight is also working as you can see. So new visibility is visible when you hit the flashlight button, which is F for flashlight. And you can turn the visibility off. So one other thing that I want to try and get working, which is mostly complete, is the wall jumping. So on event tick, it will create line by trace, branch, sets the wall jump, adjust the velocity. So everything gets adjusted to a certain sense. So I'll just reset all of this back to zero just to make it a bit nicer. So if I hit play, I'll just show you that this does work. Okay, so you can see it's it's a nice pretty area. It's really nicely built as well. Once the textures are in, it'll be very pretty as well, but we got this nice atmospheric fog. And if we go through here, so as you can see, I'm running out of stamina when I'm going to use my stamina in the bottom left. Jumping does not use your stamina either. So can almost make that, but see this line tracing? That's what we're wanting to get working. So the line tracing is just a function at the moment. I may also extend the um, amount of time you can run for. So we are setting up this whole new area as well, which will be set for the wall jumping. So as you can see, there is a slight bug here. But if I tap shift, then it does seem to fix it. But that's okay. So it sort of just auto enables your sprint, as you can see, to a certain degree, which we will be fixing as well. But all of this works perfectly fine as well. And everything else seems to be relatively smooth. So overall, I cannot complain with how this is going so far because it is coming together quite nicely. We got this nice fog and everything. I just realized I did forget to show as well, the crouch and flash are working. So 
crouching. And then flash. But I think that is about it. So as you can see, all of this is set in stone. So let's adjust this to see if it makes much difference. See if it fixes our little bug. Which it does not, but that is perfectly fine because I'll fix this and I will show you in the next video.